Hello fellow nerds, welcome back to Dee's Nerds. I'm Michelle and today we're going to be doing another uniquely bookish box unboxing. All right, so today we are unboxing the August box from the uniquely bookish box. And this one is different from my last two because my last two have been from their classic boxes. So if you didn't know, the uniquely bookish box does boxes every other month on a theme. So every other month there is a classic book that is very familiar to everyone with themed items that go with it. And then on the off months, there are contemporary novels, new things that are coming out with items themed around those. So you can choose to subscribe to one or the other. Or of course, you can do both. This is my very first contemporary box, and I'm pretty excited to see what's inside. Full disclosure, I did take the stuffing out first so that I wouldn't make a mess while we were filming this video. <laughs> so the theme for this month was dark secrets, and I'll just read the back of the card to you here. We all have secrets, but ours are likely not as dark or twisted as those in the novel we featured this month. We're drawn into the story by the atmosphere and the suspense, and we hope you will be too. We'll be hosting a discussion of the novel on Instagram, Facebook on September 20th, and we'd love for you to join us. So then underneath that, it gives a list of the items and where they came from. And it also provides a QR code because the author has created a PDF with a playlist, paper doll, and more information about the novel. So you can scan that QR code to access it, which is pretty cool. I do also want to point out that the Uniquely Bookish box features all items from Canadian small businesses because this box is based out of Canada. They also have really great customer service because I've messaged them before because my first box got stuck in shipping for a really long time once it crossed into the U.S. and so I was afraid it wasn't ever going to get here, but it did, obviously, because I filmed it, but their customer service is really good. So, Dark Secrets, here we go. All right, so first item I'm pulling out of the box is charcoal soap and this is by Lavami Lavami I'm not sure how to say that but it is handmade soap from Canada and it's in a nice little tin looks like that oh it smells really good I like that it smells very like essential oil to me I'm not sure exactly which one but it smells really good then next up Oh, that's always a good day. We have chocolate. So this is chocolate ethically sourced bean to bar chocolate from Kin and Pod. It is dark chocolate, 70%. And ooh, got some international award winners. I don't know if this like hide this chocolate so nobody else eats it but me. And then we have a pin. This is a diamond pin. It's got like a crystal at the top. And it is by Shoplux. And I do know that on the back of this, it says that it is refillable, which is always nice because I feel like a lot of the times you get these really cute pens and then you can't put new ink in them once it runs out. So definitely appreciate I can keep using this one. And then the last actual item in the box beside the book is this. And this is Juniper Berry Linen Spray. This is made with essential oils also. I'm just going to open it up to smell it. Ooh, that smells nice. It's another essential oil blend in here. That smells really good. This is from Gaia's Garden Gifts. So those are our items for today. And then last, we've got our book. So they do host a book discussion, as I read on the back of the card, on Facebook and Instagram. So you can actually jump in and talk to people about the book that you read from the box. So let's see this. Oh, they use cute washi tape on there. All right. We have Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. The cover's gorgeous. The super pretty dress and the colors, like the way they're saturated and stuff. So let's see what this book is about. He is trying to poison me. You must come for me, Naomi. You have to save me. After receiving a frantic letter from her newlywed cousin, Naomi heads to High Place, a distant house in the Mexican countryside, unsure of what she will find. She's an unlikely rescuer. She's a gl glamorous debutante, more suited to cocktail parties than amateur sleuthing. But she's also tough, smart, and not afraid. Not of her cousin's new English husband, a stranger who is both menacing and alluring. Not of his father, the ancient patriarch who seems fascinated by Naomi. And not even of the house itself, which begins to invade Naomi's dreams with visions of blood and doom. Naomi's only ally in this inhospitable place is the family's youngest son. But he too may be hiding something dark, for there are many secrets behind the walls of High Place, as Naomi discovers when she begins to unearth stories of violence and madness. 
Mesmerized by this terrifying yet seductive world, Noemi may soon find it, find it impossible to save her cousin or even escape this enigmatic house. I love gothic novels, so I'm really excited this is a gothic novel. My very favorite book in the world is Jane Eyre. So this is going to be a fun one for me. I'm excited. Well, that's all we have for today. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Uniquely Bookish box. I'll be sure to leave a link below where you can go and pick up one of those boxes. Not sponsored, and I do not have an affiliate code or anything. Just something that I enjoy and I've been buying myself now for three months. So if you have any questions, be sure to drop them below. If there's any other boxes you think I should try, you should definitely leave those in comments for me and let me know because I am definitely down to try more boxes. So I hope you all have a great day. I'm Michelle. This is D's Nerds. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!